Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Coding Together. My name is Vikas Ojha. Today we will see a lead code hard problem IPO. So let's read the state problem statement. So suppose lead code wants to start its IPO. So before the IPO, the lead code wants to work on some projects with at most k distinct projects and it wants to increase its capital. So we are given with n projects with each ith project has a profit associated with it and a minimum capital to make to start it we are initially we are given with w capital and as soon as we finish a project the profit of it will add into the total capital so we have to pick a list of k distinct projects which will maximize the final capital and we have to return the final maximized capital so let's see this example to make the problem statement more clearer so k is given as 2 so we can do at most two projects w is equal to 0 it means the initial capital with us is 0 this is the list of profits for each project and this is the capital array for each project is a capital array where each integer defines the capital required for that project to start so suppose uh, so in the start we have zero capital so we have to go with the capital that require that project that requires zero capital so as soon as we are finished with the project with the capital zero we will get a profit of one and we will add it in our total capital now for the second project we have one as capital in our hand so maybe we can go with the projects two or three because it has to be distinct and out of two or three we will choose a project for which because they have uh, for the, pro the projects two and three both can be started with the capital of one but we will choose the project three because it will give us a profit of 3 so the total capital after doing the two projects is 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 so let's see uh, how we will solve this problem so uh, we will use a greedy approach here we are given with a k equal to 2 w as a 0 with initial capital as 0 and we are given four projects with the profits one two three four and capital list as zero one one two so we will uh, using the greedy approach we will start with a project that require less capital so first we will define our projects which will be a 2d array where each array first element will be the profit and the second element will be the capital so each profit and capital will be become and 2d array 1 0 2 1 3 1 and 4 2 and we will sort these projects in the increasing order of capital 0 1 1 2 and we will iterate over the projects array so starting with project 10 we will see what initial capital we have so we have the capital as 0 so so this project requires capital 0 and we have the capital in hand as 0 so we can do this project so we will add the profit which can be gained if we do this project with zero capital so we will add this in max heap why max heap because we want to take the maximum profit of the projects so it will be more clear if we uh, proceed the last we proceed if we see we'll see the last steps so here 
we will add in the max heap now for the second project we still have uh, the in hand capital as zero but it requires the capital as one so we cannot do this project so we will only check our priority queue that how many projects we we can do with capital zero so it is only one so we will take that we will do that project and we will we will add the profit of that project one into our capital now the, our capital will become as one now again we are in this iteration two comma one now our capital has become one now we will see that whether we can do this project now yes we can do this project now we will add the profit in our priority queue and do nothing we will check the another project yes with this capital equal to 1 we can do this project as well and the profit it will give is 3 so we will add in our priority queue so here is the need of max hip because we want with the min with the same capital if there are multiple projects available we will choose the project which will give us the maximum profit so here also we will do nothing let's proceed with the last project we will see whether with the capital one whether we can do this project no we cannot do this project because the capital required by for this project to be done is two so we will see from our priority queue max heap which is the project which will give us the ma maximum profit so it's three we'll take it out three we have already in hand uh, the capital that is one and it will give us one plus three equal to four as a total capital now we will go for the next iteration as we are out of the projects because we can only do a project at once or we have to only go with the distinct projects so we are done so the maximum profit we can have with mo doing at most two projects is four so let's see this coding for this algorithm so here is the size of the profit array we will create a 2d array projects with this row as n and column as 2 we'll iterate over the n and the we'll put the first with the we'll put the profit as the first element of this 2d array and capital as the second element for this 2d array will sort according to the capital and we will initialize a priority queue with in a reverse order to make it a max shape so either we can have at most k projects or while uh, we, we can do at most k projects now what we will do we will check that whatever we have in hand the capital what all projects we can do or what are the projects whose capital is less than equal to capital in hand so we will add all those projects profit in our priority queue and we will keep on incrementing so if there is no such project where the capital is less than equal to w will break out of this loop otherwise we'll take the first element from our priority queue and we'll increase our capital with that profit and we'll decrement the project count 
द नंबर ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स वी कैन डू एंड आफ्टर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ एट मोस्ट के प्रोजेक्ट्स विल रिटर्न द टोटल कैपिटल अटेंड सो फार सो यस टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम सो दिस एरे विल टेक एन लॉग एन एज अ टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एंड दिस प्रायरिटी क्यू विल टेक बिगो ऑफ एन टू पुट द एलिमेंट्स एंड टू टेक आउट द एलिमेंट एंड पुट द एलिमेंट इन साइड द प्रायरिटी क्यू इट टेक्स लॉग एन सो फॉर k elements or n elements it will be n log n so the time complexity will be n log n for this algorithm if i run this right so we have to come all the test cases are passing and we'll try to submit so it passed okay so thank you for uh, watching this video see you in the next video thank you